Might find another what is up guys it's p j nasty gaming coming at you with another video today it's a story time as i'm sure you could tell by the title we're playing some rory mcelroy pj golf in the background so if you like golf you'll enjoy the video if you like the story that's going to be heard then you also will enjoy the video i think that you know it's, it's going to suit everybody here today this video and i think it is pretty interesting uh, as you can tell by the title, it's the time yards. I passed out in elementary school. Uh, I find it pretty interesting. Second I find it shot. kind of funny, Good look at stupid, the uh, dumb on my part for what I was doing, which you guys will find out. But please, uh, I think this is going to be a video that could get a decent amount of oh, views. So I want to see if we could right smash the thumbs the up green. button and get it to 100 likes. I don't know if it's doable, first hole. but let's see. Let's try to make it happen for me. 100 likes, I think it's Pretty possible. Chance here. Very uh, long you know, putt, though. For me telling you if it gets away on my stupidity in elementary school. But anyway, let's get into the part How does that not go in? of the story Amazing. as to why you are here. Good. Uh, so, line looked good, just did not take in that elementary final school, break. I think it was fourth grade to be specific, but I'm not positive. This that's why I'm kind of rolling with the elementary school focus. theme here. But I think it was fourth grade to be specific. I was, you know, just having a normal school day, and, he's at um, even par. and I was having class, and I remember school was flying by. It was a super fast day. I think it was a Friday, even. So I, Frank, our first I'm almost positive it was a Friday, and the school day was flying by. I remember we were doing some, like, there. gluing, arts and crafts activity, little, like see, normal stuff you do in preschool, of course, and, and the two bunkers in front really I was just bad. surprised by how fast the day was going by. I even said to my teacher, I was like, oh my god, this day's going by so fast. I remember, like, that was the main thing of the day for me, was how fast it was going by. And the teacher's like, yeah, it's ready, it's time for lunch, so let's go to the cafeteria. So, you know me just i'm talking to everybody having fun and uh oh, that was solid i get rich. to lunch and this one's safe in, i don't off. know if this is for years but in my lunch they have a line they have like a cooler outside a line a that is like feet. just wraps around the entire thing and so just wraps around the started, entire lunch room so and far. that's where you wait to get your food so i was waiting in line yeah, and i was behind my one long good friend five. And See me and him were keep the ball just enough. talking. Uh, we usually talk about sports mostly, so we're probably talking about sports. And, and for some reason, you want to take something right made me say, really cool looking let's have a shot, hold our breath contest. It's very intimidating. And, you know, me being in fourth grade, I'm like, left or right of the rock pile up ahead. let's do it. So Either my friend agrees to having the hold our breath contest, and we start holding our breath. And I didn't know, you know, in fourth grade now, me and my friend look back at it. My friend was like, I was breathing out of my nose you were actually holding your breath completely and i was like yeah i wasn't cheating offline so and i think that one as the contest continued on Frank, um, than we thought people was started watching people yeah, were laughing like and all of a sudden stuff, the whole wide, uh, but, uh, my one friend to this day i don't remember any of this part now what happened guy. here but my one friend to this day says my face got like purple well, like it wasn't red like how line. you normally would be, be rough, if you were like. holding your breath it Playing was purple five, Frank, like what happened on that third bright shot? purple yeah, and he was like decision. oh my god and the so, next thing he uh, knew i passed out and on my way down i hit his knee and, um, really with my head my head hit his knee and then it bounced up like i ricocheted off his knee and hit my head right on the cooler that has all the drinks i mean not the drinks has all the ice cream and stuff like that even pa so i me, I'm passed out. I don't know what I'm doing now. All I remember when I was passed out was seeing the same situation. Part. I was just imagining myself still having to hold my breath contest with my friend, with the people in the front of the line, with, with my other friend in the back of the line. As the crow flies, but all of that, I just see in black and white now. Don't know why that's, that's my really one vivid memory that I have so if you of this down the left side, stupid um, contest me and my friend were having. Distance you need to get to the green. So, all, the next side, thing I know as, after as that was my see, teacher sharply back was slapping my, slapping my, uh, and cheeks, it over that rock boulder, and but, uh, was like, really luck of the wake up, wake up, wake up. The whole lunchroom now was Logic silent when I woke up. The, the whole place but, uh, was silent. This game not always logical. And I was like, what just happened? My teacher was like, you passed out. I was like, what? So, all the kids got told to go outside and go to the playground. So, that's where they all went. There was no one in the lunchroom now. Good Besides me, my teachers, and they were waiting for the ambulance and the police to show up. So once the police Locking showed up read at the scene, it was speed. actually my friend's uncle who showed up. And I remember him saying, 
what happened, you know, and I didn't know him at the time. I was, I was telling him what happened. He's like, yeah, I'm actually, my son goes to, I mean, my uh, nephew well, goes to school. Bonus, had it gone His name in, is so and so. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, I'm good friends here. with him. Yeah, and I was no actually damage. supposed to sing the national you anthem on Saturday at this baseball event with him. So I was like, yeah, I was telling him about that. He was like, wow. Yeah, so the job right that kind of told him that I didn't have a concussion. The fact that I was able to remember that I was singing the national right, anthem. Frank, let's see what he does. On Line the very shot. next day with him. So by that time, uh, my parents get notified and all that stuff. Uh, both of them were working. So my mom called her friend because she knew that she was still far ways away. My dad was still far ways away. And she called her friend who lived right around the neighborhood who was at home and was just like, can you please come? There was an incident at the school where oh man, uh, Peyton not passed out. We need to go all. talk to him. Can you please, well, you, don't want to compound the you know, error. go to the school Out of bounds, and, and keep now back on the company until I could get there and stuff this like that. So she raced there. Then my mom also called my grandmother, now after and she got there as soon as she OB. could, too, because, you know, grandmas, uh, they, they worry about stuff like that. She got there as soon as she possibly could as well. Headed so the bunker? seeing their faces obviously made me feel a lot more calm. And then I think even another friend showed up as well, but I forget. Oh, a bit unfortunate. I forget it if that happened. To but then, the trap. after a little bit of time, my mom showed up and the and ambulance was here. All the kids were outside still. We'll run the flag. And I just remember the people in the police and the people for the ambulance were like, do you want to go to the hospital in the ambulance or do you want your mom to take you? And I was like, this way I really day. don't care. Airtight, you know, I think that no I could mistakes, probably go with my mom. It's not a big deal. And I was like, yeah, I'll take him to the hospital. So... Jordan my dad trying to get out of here with a was going to meet us at the hospital. My mom was driving me to the hospital, and they were like, all right, yeah, you can well, go hurts. out the playground way. And well, this is where all the kids are. So they're all like, oh, my God, what's going on. on in there? What's happening? So they push them all against the fence, and they see me walk out, and they all start clapping. And I was like, why are they clapping? Well, like, board, I, it didn't Frank, hit me until five, six, I actually was like, wow. The they were really, like, that Hopefully nervous. The they were really that scared and stuff like that. The arches, as the train just and I was like, yeah, I'd probably be scared too if I just saw my friend pass out in front of me, in front of the entire school. Somehow keep it underneath but, that, and you'll see the So that happened on the way to the, the hospital now. So to me, my mom, the hospital's in like a town 35 minutes away from me. So we have a long ride ahead of us. And my mom's like, what were you doing? And I was like, I don't even know. Because at this point, I'm still out of it. I'm like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. And she's like, are you tired? And I was like, yeah, I'm actually exhausted. Like, I want to go to sleep. And I was like, don't go to sleep. You hit your head. That could be bad. And, you know, me, I'm in fourth grade. So what else am I going to be? I'm like, mom, I just want to go to sleep. She's like, Good do not go to Third sleep. You can't. Like, it, you'll be in serious trouble if you could go to sleep. Because then something bad could happen to you. And I was like, okay, now can you tell me what? Right She's like, no, no it looks just like it's don't be in the rough. fall asleep. Well, that's and a, now coming that's back to it, I guess she said, like, if I had some really bad head hard, injuries or something like that, it could lead uh, to well, me being sure. in, like, a coma for Didn't a little while if I really impact. need to go to sleep that bad. And if it was that serious, it wasn't that serious at all. Um, But I didn't want to risk it. I was like, all right, I'm going to listen to my mom. I'm not going to... I'm not going to fall asleep right now. She's telling me not to, so I'm going to listen. And no fireworks, but not next bad. thing, That's I don't remember anything else in the car ride. Right? I just remember getting to the hospital. They had me all strapped up with a bunch of different now, buttons, four, a bunch of different things on me. Really an and at design. the hospital, they were there asking me a bunch of different questions. Like, what were you doing? Rock rock. Would have been, uh, How this happened? What happened? And now, rock rock I don't even remember it until now. Well, I, I remembered it, but I didn't remember it at the time. Really protects the shotgun you know, after my friends telling me and after the friend that was doing it with me, you know, we didn't remember any of this, anything that happened until now. Well, I didn't, maybe. My friend, How about that I, obviously he didn't because he was he didn't pass out. He was still conscious. Another good swing, and it looks but, like Frank um, another really good shot. It just shot. shows that how stupid I was look at for having a holder breath contest and then not, not even getting out of my nose, just well within his actually range. doing it. And you know, my friend was smart. He he didn't do it. He he was fine, but me on well, the other hand passed out in front of the entire school. But anyway, it's at the hospital now. Power. Let's it's forget about this one. Me, my mom, and my Golf brothers, I guess, went to my grandma's. I mean, my brother and my sister gonna went to my grandma's house, good I guess. She probably picked them up from school pot. and brought them to her house. Now to the because very long both my parents were at the hospital with me. I remember that. Because my dad met me there. My mom picked me up from school. Hole, Frank. 
Yeah, that's the first so at the, the hospital, my mom's like, all right, do you remember anything at all? And to stretch to once again, yards still now? nothing, still wow. not Easily really. Exceeds that I kind of remember me and Ryan just being in lunch, uh, just talking, just, Well, that was a beautiful drive, know, Frank. Really good position to take advantage. Just talking about sports, uh, doing a normal thing. In the fairway. She's like, and was there anything to else to it? And I'm like, I really don't remember. I don't think so, though. So we're long gone are the we're days now getting examined by the doctor. He's, like wave. I said, he has now all these things strapped up to me. There's and a frying pan on the end of a shaft. He's like, yeah, it lo looks like grandma's skillet. Is there? Has he, is, he had any other yeah, head injuries? Has he had like stuff like this? Because I hit the cooler and I hit it hard. And I had a big lump on my head. When I hit that cooler, I hit it significantly hard. And I was like, no, I don't remember any of this. I I never had head injuries. Head injuries. That's what my mom said. Never had head injuries. And chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. He was like, "All right, yeah, you're free to go." So we spent like two hours at the doctor's. Wait, this could be the, a tough one right here, Frank. Uh, hospital. It's a very long to just find out that it's obviously it's difficult. I was going to uh, be free to go. Still has a shot to sink this you know, one. So that was kind of a waste of time. Kind of could have just been sitting on the couch and probably would have gotten you the same. You could for much more than that. Amount of make it. treatment that I did at the hospital, but you know it was probably good to just go get it checked out, make sure nothing happened, but. I remember saying to my mom, I had a baseball game that night, and I was like, Mom, can I go, still go to my game tonight? She's like, Wow, that you can't was go to your so game. close, Frank. You just passed out, and just time to forget that I was one. so you angry about that. that. Much but I also did get to sing to the national anthem that over on the Saturday, round. so I was fine with that. Uh, you know, it Ready was, round out the it was side on definitely a weird experience for me because I never steep drop here, had anything that significant happen to me before. We've blown past the days of it, it was definitely weird. I've, the high it's like an experience that you Marcus, don't want to have, but at the same the time, you kind of want to see yeah, what that's cliff, like, so like you know what I mean? I don't know. Here it, it's well, a close your weird eyes on that and shot. all that stuff, but I don't know. It was interesting to me. Uh, I thought that you guys would enjoy it. If you did, leave a thumbs up down below. I'm only going to be doing the nine holes here for you guys. So, this is going to be the last hole, but I hope you guys did actually enjoy it. I know I Frank, this one is veering didn't. Far to the left. <laughs> I I enjoyed telling you about it, but I did wow, not Frank, enjoy it when it happened. Dialed in. Yeah, that was so just yeah, some please shot on leave that. a thumbs Easy up buddy. down below if and you enjoyed ready it. Please subscribe. Uh, always love the subscribers, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. So thanks, That's and a step I'll in the right direction. Later. Makes the putt and makes the move to three over.